we negotiated and then I got that. How many states border Georgia? Don't look it up. How many states border Georgia? Five. I guess. So what did they say it was five dollars per axle? Was it five dollars or eight dollars per axle? Upper Peninsula. No, eight times five, so forty dollars. This is like the welcoming toll. Welcome. <laughs> Pay for admission. Oh, let's see. Hey there. Hey, that guy paid for you. Oh, very good. Oh wait, we have to pay for that no. then. Yeah, he paid for it. He paid for me. Yeah. I said he's ten bucks. Well, I'll pay for him. All right. So you got off going to Florida. I can't do that. I have to have cash now. I got cash. All right. I'm just trying to preserve it. All right. Yeah. I already hit the button, so I can't uh, use the credit card after I hit the cash button. That's fine. Well, there you go. You well, guys have fun up thank there. you. Thank you. I'll tell you what. Here, just keep this, and wherever that goes, pay back, cause I got off too easy. Okay. okay <laughs> See you later. Wait, who paid for us? The person in front of us. Okay, we're gonna get some fuel. And we saw across the street, homemade Upper Peninsula pasties. Why don't I think it's, oh, no. There was a- Pasties? Pasties, pasties, like past, pasty, pasties. But not pasty. Not pasties, not posties, pasties. All right, so it's kind of like, off. no, it's pasties, I'm, I'm for sure. Okay. And it's kind of like Canadians, you know, up in Canada, we had the shepherd's pie, it was delicious. So in Upper Peninsula, they have pasties. The it's thing is- like But it's like, cause Carson was asking, it's like a shepherd's pie, but I think it's with like dough. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a calzone. Okay, like now it. I'm sure there's better ones than just crossing over the bridge and getting one across the street from the gas station. So there's a reason for why we're doing this. The next 75 days, Trish and I and the boys are going into a highly disciplined program. It's not a diet by any means. There's a number of factors that things that we're doing in terms of water we're drinking and pages that, that we're reading read. and uh, you know, like working out twice a day and sticking to a nutrition plan. No we alcohol. Just, no alcohol for 75 days. So it sounds like it might be like a diet or something like this, but it's not. It's really 75 days is going to be so difficult to do this. It's really like a... It's a mental discipline right challenge. Junction, mental right discipline road. challenge. And so we just thought now is the perfect time. We're kind of ready to commit to something like this. And here's, as you know, if you've been watching the channel for a long time, like we do things like this. Here's, like here's what to, I'm doing. Here's what I'm doing. No alcohol, no smoking, no drugs. Okay? All right. All right. All right. <laughs> no more days. jokes. How about no okay, jokes yeah. for 75 days? <laughs> I'll eat. No. All right, anyway, so that's okay, why that's street. why we're doing this. That's why we're doing this now. It's our last day to have a pasty. So, because we're not going to be doing any flour. Hold on, I need to go in the oh, or wheat. real quick. All right, okay, so you're going to so go do that? Think that's enough money for No, this? I got I got one more. If it's more than $35, then I don't want a pasty. Okay. Pasty. All so right, I'll I, be back. I, I'm, I'm joking. I still want one. <laughs> I still want one. <laughs> no matter the cost. They canceled tonight's sunset cruise. Oh, really? For the weather? Yeah, they said the waves are just crashing up on the side of the boat. Oh, no good. They say tomorrow the weather doesn't look great. <laughs> and Today's not good. Tomorrow <laughs> doesn't look good either. <laughs> and then Saturday night, she says, is going to book up momentarily. Oh, so let's get our tickets. Okay. She said there's... Okay. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Saturday night cruise. Let's do it. 
On another note, if you've been jonesing to go to Alaska, but it's just not in the deck of cards, or you just don't have that much time, you might consider taking a trip up to the UP. Become a youper. Become a youper, because it's very Alaska-esque. All right, so we have to find a grocery store and a place to stay, and we have to get progress on the video. Oh, that was the other thing I was gonna mention. We passed... The falls, to the falls, to Falls. on Falls. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, you can't do that. All right, here's the thing we've been doing lately. We've been trying to spend a little bit more time at certain destinations, rather than a little bit of time everywhere and feeling like we've gone nowhere. And that's been kind of the strategy for season seven, and I'm liking it. Just not try to do everything, do a fewer things, do a few things well, instead of everything without enough time. Ready, Charlie? Ready, Charlie? That's such a good stick for the water. Oh, good boy, Charlie. I asked Trish if she'd help me do some recording and she said, no. <laughs> she said, no, I'm busy. Okay. So I've tried to soap these things up and push up on them, but it didn't quite work. And the reason that I've delayed doing this is because I actually have to figure out how to lower the hydraulic jacks one at a time. So I think I need to move it to manual mode lower them, and then when this one hits the ground, then that one automatically starts going. It just requires a little bit of timing, and we are, if you haven't noticed, we're always, we're always up against the clock with the Sunday video, because we start editing it, we start editing on Thursdays. And then by the time the video comes out Sunday night at eight Eastern, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are our days to like relocate and travel and collect footage before Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we start editing again. And of course, today is Friday, but I feel like I have a pretty good handle on the video, so I've got time to do this. Oh, see, that's pretty easy. Look at that. You know what I hate, though? I hate it when, I hate it when you procrastinate doing something, and then you find out that it's that easy to do. You know, the instructions say, that you kind of line this up on the ground and then you just lower the jack into it and pushes it in. But for me, that was simple enough. All right, let's go put the jacks down. Hey, the snap pads are on. Really? All six of them. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't that great? Yes. I did it because if it's gonna rain, I wanted them down on this grass. Smart. Very smart. <laughs> All right, we've made it to the pictured rocks cruise. That big old boat over there that's gonna hold all of these people right here is where we're going. It costs us $45 per person. And we did the sunset tour, starts at eight o'clock, including the spray fall. So I think we're gonna be out for a couple hours. And the sunset, the sunsets here have been amazing, haven't they? Mm -hmm. They've been amazing. So hopefully, this is gonna be, everyone's been talking about doing this. So, here we go.
appreciate these types of cruises for the fact that the whole family can be together. So if you have like really young kids, and maybe if you have some parents that can't go on a hike, or anybody in between, everybody can sit and laugh and have fun. Maybe a little picnic on the boat would have been nice. Some snacks. I like the sunset. I think, it's, I think honestly, I think it's a great value. Thirty-eight dollars for the sunset cruise, forty-five dollars for the sunset cruise plus the waterfalls we saw. Yeah. I think it's a great value to yeah. go see pictured rocks. Yes. But I think it would be even more fun, even more fun, mm -hmm. to experience pictured rocks. And oh, I think there's a lot of options. We should have been hiking, but we we've been working. Yeah, so I know. we have. We did one hike today. I think we can find another great hike tomorrow. I wouldn't mind hiking out to that tree. That was pretty Cathedral cool. Cathedral Rock with the yeah, tree with the branch, yeah. the fruits cool. that and go across. And I saw across. someone taking, setting up their tripod for a picture. Ooh. Yeah. 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 I would so it is, it is, it is great value, but I think I'm at the point where I, I don't want to do any more sightseeing. I You're want to, sightseeing saturated. I am. I want a sight experience. Okay, so this is a 10 mile loop, and on the coast of this loop is everything we did last night on the Pictured Rock boat tour. Like that huge tree with the roots that were coming off the back, that's on here. The, the big arch that's the tallest arch in the area, that's along here. So it was absolutely the best hike, but 10 miles is, is quite, a, quite a long ways. We don't have time for it right now. So we are going clockwise from the trailhead, because it's 1.6 miles to Mosquito River, where hopefully, <laughs> doesn't sound very appealing, does it? <laughs> yeah. I got a great hike plan for us today. <laughs> where are we going? It's called the Mosquito, Mosquito River. River. Well, you gotta... I'm gonna want some deep woods spray. I think they keep it in the poison area. <laughs> You're gonna want to pick yourself up some of that for this lovely trail, <laughs> but it's worth it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm stable, I'm stable now, all right, okay. Uh, but it's worth it, because it's super fun. Um, although, Caleb turned back. <laughs> he's over it, he's, he's just, he's going through a phase right now, he's not enjoying hikes as much. <laughs> but Carson's ahead of us. This is, without question, KYD's most anticlimactic hike we've ever documented. <laughs> We're not there yet. And there is Mosquito River, <laughs> and we have to turn around. And it's humid and it's muggy, but the trail was really pretty. It's very pretty. With a lot of mosquitoes. Feels like Hansel and Gretel. <gasps> Look at those mushrooms. Oh, you gotta show right, that. I'll go record the mushrooms. There's five different kinds of soil. If you were to pick up a handful of soil, there would be more microorganisms in that handful than there are people on the planet. Amazing. Did you know? It's pretty cool. So the mushrooms that you just showed, mm -hmm. there's different mushrooms and then there's like um, algae and bacteria and fungi, which are mushrooms, and snakes and worms and um, also things that are microscopic mm -hmm. that are eating the soil and then having it run through their body and then it creates the nutrients for the trees to grow and then the trees get all the carbon dioxide and then all the living things die and go into the soil and give it nitrogen. And then that's like a key ingredient for all the plants to grow. It's like, we're learning about soil this week. <laughs> but it's really cool to be here because you actually see it happening. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. very cool. So if you are doing homeschool, these hikes are like the best because then you can kind of like talk about all this stuff. Although I think I've brought up sedimentary rocks so many times to Carson. He's like, enough. I don't <laughs> want to hear any more about soil. <laughs> what are those rocks that just lay around? Oh, you want to know? That was a joke. Oh. Sedimentary rocks. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, you want me to share with you? Sure, you can tell me about sedimentary rocks on our way back. Okay. You got 27 minutes. Do you think you can finish it in 27 yeah. minutes? I only need two. <laughs> Packing up. It was raining all morning, so we delayed our start to get out of here so we didn't have to do all this in the rain. Now we're just about ready to go. And we're headed to the freshwater spring, which is pronounced, my phone's in the car, but I know unequivocally it's K-I-T-C-H. 
kitch. Itchy kippy. <laughs> well, that's what it says. C I T C H dash I T I dash K I P I. Kitch itty kippy. Kitch itty kippy. Oh, nice. Kitch itty kippy. It's terrible. Okay, 33 miles away. Okay, here's the deal. Can you look at solar? Hour and four minutes. Wait, wait, wait. two things. First of all, look at it like um, satellite. Oh, solar or satellite? Satellite. Can okay. you make satellite and see if um, there's a place to park? Because I don't want to get right on it. And then and then the other thing is, can we put it in truck map to make sure we don't get set oh, yeah. down a tiny road? Tons of RV parking. Okay, that's sad. And... Truck map is not necessary. I'm looking at all the interstates and the route. I think we're good. This worked out so well for getting the video done while doing pictured rocks, while having internet. And so if you're ever wondering if you're gonna have cell phone coverage in the Upper Peninsula, Munising is your town. And tourist park campground is pretty decent. Well, it's beyond decent. Well, if you get a waterfront, it's exceptional. I think the whole park is great though, because the beach is so nice. Anyhow, pretty fun. I lost my sewer hose out of the bed of the truck. I won't. Anyway, I'm gonna run back and get it because it's an expensive hose and hopefully it's not. This is the second sewer hose we've lost on the road. I don't think that those things are reliable. Well, what's happening is the, there's this crazy vortex that happens in the bed of the truck. Oh, you will. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it went up the bed of the truck over the fender and down like a snake. A stinky, slinky snake. snake. All right. Well, I better go. I'm going to get a nice little run careful. in. All right. Oh, clock yourself. This can count for your minutes. Okay. Okay. It's 116. No, you're not. Uh uh. This is a main highway. That was far away. Yeah. Anyway, it broke. Oh. Yeah. At least you picked up our trash. It's a $50 stinky slinky too. Oh, that's so stinky. That's steep. I don't think I'm gonna go back to Valterra though, if I'm pronouncing that right. That's the brand. I think I'm gonna oh. just stick with Rhino. Okay. Because I already have Rhino hoses and uh -huh. Rhino and Valterra do not, they're not compatible. Okay. And I've had a poopsie because of it. We have to keep talking about this. You know, like that really stinks. An oopsie with the sewer hose is called a poopsie. Did you undo it? Did you undo it? Is there a lever? Look, to operate the raft. I'm just gonna, I don't know how to do it. Close the entry gate completely. Is it closed completely? Yep. Oh, okay. goes down. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. And it's like bubbling up because the water is coming from the under underground. That's amazing. I think that was worth the extra miles to get down here. Yeah. Don't you? I thought it was really neat. I felt like I was definitely an RVer. That's like one of those moments where you go and you go off the beaten path a little bit to mm -hmm. go see something interesting. Yeah. That's what that was. What I liked about it is that yeah. there, it wasn't managed by the park service. That you were actually doing cranking the, the wheel. Cranking the wheel. And yes. the people were kind of working together and kind of figuring out how many people that should be on the floaty thing and how many people should stay back and where people should be in the front of the back to make it easier to move. I like that. Yeah. I like the independence of it. I also really like that we have a Grand Haven State Park, so this was free. Free. I like that too. Yes. But um, I don't think it would have been very much to get in here otherwise, right? 
I don't know the answer to that. You want to ask? How okay. about I ask and you make lunch? You, okay, I don't have any lunch that I can make right now, but I do have some mixed nuts that we can enjoy. Oh, yeah, you've, you're traveling with mixed nuts. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's training you to pick him up and put him inside. Tell he's him to jump. On his own. All right, come on. Tell him to go. Go. Up, 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 up. Watch. Let's see if my way works. What are you gonna do? Let's see if my way works. Here, pull him out. Pull him out. No. Yes, pull him out. Let me see if this works. He does need a running start. Yeah, he does. Okay, here. Here, Charlie. Charlie, come on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mom's mom's way works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great, great work, Charlie. Good boy, Charlie. So put it off, we'll see. Put them off if no fruit setting. Because the farm is here. Because the garden on me. For a planting, the sound of bird comes, and the baby is awakened. Frogs may fall. Persevering. 